everybody so I am here in New York that's why the set looks a little bit different we have an interesting lighting situation going on and but at least you can see you know some of the city after you know I mean minus the glare I don't know maybe you can't see anything anyway but that's what we're doing and I want to talk to you guys about this week's horoscope for each of the signs. I want you guys to listen to your sun sign and your rising sign because both of them will be important when it comes to how the energy of this week is gonna be affecting you. You may also wanna listen for like your friends, family members, significant others because this week is pretty major. We have Mercury retrograde right now that you guys, you guys probably already know that. Mercury retrograde causes all kinds of havoc. It's a whole situation but it really is here to help us rethink and slow down a little bit so that we can, I don't know, like refine our, refine our approach basically. And then that helps us to move forward in a more positive way than we were before the retrograde started. So it's all for the best. It's all part of the grand plan, but sometimes we need a little bit of reassurance so that we don't think we're just like losing our minds, right? Okay, so we're gonna talk about that. And Wednesday there is a new moon happening, which, tells us that we have a fresh start, an opportunity for a fresh start, and new things coming into our lives starting Wednesday, which I'm sure you guys are excited to hear about. So let's do this, it's gonna have a positive impact. I love this new moon, and let's discuss. Okay, Aries. So Aries, you guys are focusing on your partnership sector this week. Mercury is retrograde in your area of partnerships, which means that you've been doing a lot of reevaluating your relationships and partnerships, especially your romantic relationship. So your focus has been there and you're probably gonna be happy to hear that there is a new opportunity coming in for you on Wednesday with the new moon. And you're gonna be asking yourself questions like, who do I need to partner up with in order to achieve this certain goal or thing? There is something coming into your life, it's gonna be different for everyone, but it is going to require you to partner up with people, which is why you've been reevaluating the way that you partner and who you've been partnering with, because come Wednesday, you might be shifting to partnering with new people, or you might start switching up the way that you interact with people who are already in your life, that you already have relationships with and things going with. So just be open this week to new approaches, be open to listening to your intuition when it comes to your partnership and partnerships and try to communicate as clearly, openly, honestly, and from the heart as you can. And that's gonna help you sidestep a lot of this Mercury retrograde BS and it's gonna help you to move forward and really seize this opportunity coming in for you. Okay, Taurus, so when Wednesday gets here, you guys are going to see that all of a sudden your calendar fills up. You're gonna get busy, you're gonna have a lot going on um, because the new moon is in the area of your chart that rules your daily activities and like your day-to-day -day routine. So when you get a new moon there, that means there could be new things happening that weren't happening before. So you may get a new work project that requires you to you know, get up earlier and um, switch up your whole schedule. Maybe you start driving a new way to work or it could be because this area also rules your health and fitness, you may decide to start taking a new fitness class. And the reason that this new moon is so important is because there's an opportunity here for you to enjoy your day to day in a way that just makes your life feel more fulfilling. And I feel like a lot of the time we put a lot of attention on like the overall you know picture of our lives or these big goals and we forget about how important the day-to-day -day is so for you guys getting this inspiration in the area of your chart that rules your day-to-day -day tasks rules the way that you go about your life your daily schedule i would say embrace this this could be really really great so if there's something new that you've been wanting to try in your day like i said it could be a new way to work getting up earlier going to sleep earlier uh focusing more on your health changing up your diet focusing on taking a workout class or maybe going on more walks whatever it is for you this is going to be really really beneficial and so embrace it and go with the flow in this area i think you're really going to love the results and how it's going to make you feel on a regular basis which will make you more successful overall also you're going to be so busy that you want to remember to stay centered so this may be a good time to also start incorporating things like meditation i love using the calm app i highly recommend that super easy or journaling 
something that also keeps you centered mentally and emotionally because like I said, you're gonna be really, really busy. So you wanna stay on top of things with self-care as well while you embrace these new changes. Okay, Gemini. So Gemini, you guys have the opportunity to potentially rekindle an old flame. Yours is pretty juicy, Gemini. This new moon situation on Wednesday is going to open up uh, a portal, so to speak, for an old love or a past situation that has to do with love, relationships, creativity, to come back into your life. Now, I would say go slow. Explore the situation if it's something that you are interested in exploring and just kind of take a step back and let it all unfold. On October 18th, Mercury's going to go direct. Listen to my podcast episode this week. I'll put the link below in the description because I talk all about retrograde and how it affects everybody. But for you guys, you're going to want to be sure that you wait until October 18th to make any commitments or any solid decisions around, you know, any past loves or past creative projects that come back around, but enjoy it, explore it, see what happens. By the time Wednesday gets here or around Wednesday, you guys are going to start to see more clearly what this potential opportunity or person could be. And I don't know, just thank me later. <laughs> no, send me a DM. Um, no, but so enjoy that you guys explore it, see where it goes, but just take it slow. That's my advice. Okay but it's very juicy. You guys have a juicy week coming up. Okay, Cancer. So your area of home is highlighted right now. It's highlighted by the retrograde. You guys are rethinking your home situation. You may be thinking of moving. You may be thinking of changing careers, which is gonna impact where you live. You may be even thinking of like how to divide up the chores with your family members or your kids. So for you guys, when Wednesday gets here, you're gonna have new inspiration around either where to live, where to move to, how to arrange your household. You may wanna redecorate, but when Wednesday gets here, you're gonna finally start to see some inspiration for solutions. There's gonna be a new moon in that area of your chart that you've really been focusing on. So I think that it's gonna be really, really positive. So enjoy that, enjoy the inspiration. Um, if you guys have any organization tips, leave a comment below because I actually need to embrace that during the retrograde too. Okay, Leo. So Leos, you guys could be traveling. If you're not traveling this week, then you may be planning travel, you may be putting travel plans on your vision board, or you may just be mentally and emotionally exploring new ideas or things that are going to take you out of your regular day-to-day -day routine. So this is a time to expand your mind, embrace things that are foreign to you in different ways, and when Wednesday gets here, you're gonna feel this oomph this extra energy around these new ideas, around travel, around getting out of your comfort zone. And I want you guys to really embrace that if you feel inspired to plan a trip, book a flight, or whatever works for you in your situation, read a new book, whatever it is, make a vision board, <laughs> you know, embrace it because this new moon in this area of your chart can deliver a lot of inspiration. So embrace it, take the time around Wednesday to actually sit with yourself, sit with your goals, follow the muse and see where it takes you. And then October 18th, Mercury will go direct again. And I think that the new opportunities will begin to materialize. So right now you're in the exploring phase, let yourself enjoy it and see what comes up for you. Virgo, okay, Virgos, I'm a Virgo too, and I can confirm that this is happening. So Virgos have been reevaluating their finances, how they spend money, what they spend money on, how much money is coming in versus how much is going out, how they want to budget their financial goals for the future. All of that stuff is up for review for every single Virgo. So, and Virgo rising sign. So you guys, this has been something that has probably been kind of heavy on your minds because Virgos tend to really like things to be, you know, predictable, neat, in a bow, positive, moving forward, especially when it comes to work and finances. And when things aren't, or when you're in a phase of reevaluating, it can feel kind of stressful. So if you've been feeling that way, don't worry. The reason that this is happening is because you're meant to get on a new financial foundation, a better footing. So of course, in the beginning of, of something like that, change is never easy. So you're in the beginning process of that. And when Wednesday gets here, you guys can expect an idea. If you're like an entrepreneur, an idea 
that will allow you to make more money if you follow follow that idea or a new job offer or money making opportunity could fall in your lap around Wednesday and possibly the weeks that follow coming up leading up to um, Mercury going direct October 18th, which is when you'll start to see things come together more. So I think that's really positive. I hope that that makes you guys feel better. Keep doing the work, keep showing up. And um, yeah, if you need to work with a financial advisor or something that can be really helpful during this time, but just know the money making opportunities are coming in. That's why your focus has been on money because that's part of what is coming next for your you know next level of evolution. Libra. Okay, Libra, your personality sector has been under the microscope during this retrograde. And that means that the way you present yourself, the way you talk, your mindset, how you communicate with the people around you. Are you coming from a good place? You know, are you being your highest self? Are you showing up every day with a positive attitude? For Libras, this is something that you guys have really been, it's been just coming to your attention. So on Wednesday, based on any positive changes that you guys may have been making or implementing, um, on Wednesday, you guys could see a lot more positivity and love infused into your love life and relationships. So just imagine, you know, how much an attitude change can make things better. So open up your heart and just know that coming from your heart chakra, being open, being honest, communicating, keeping a positive attitude is something that the universe wants you to focus on right now. And that is going to lead to more love, friendship and positive vibes to come back to you. So focus on that and then on Wednesday, you'll start to see a lot of it come back to you. Also, by the end of the week, you guys might experience a fantastic surprise in the finance department. So there could be um, a payment that comes to you, a new job offer, um, some other financial opportunity or investment opportunity that you could see pop up towards the end of this week, Thursday and Friday. So that's great too. So get your heart in alignment get those positive vibes flowing and just know you guys have a really good week coming up. Okay, Scorpio. So Scorpio, your ruler Pluto has been retrograde, meaning that your life has probably felt a little bit off balance. Okay, so do not worry because Pluto goes direct this week and you're gonna really enjoy this forward motion because that is going to kind of take you out of this place of confusion that you may have been in and it's going to put you into a different mindset where you're going to feel like you can make plans for the future now even though mercury is retrograde your planet going forward is going to help you to feel like you can finally handle any of the challenges that are coming up for you anytime we feel confused or stuck or in a retrograde situation when it's our ruling planet it can be really difficult so you guys may be feeling kind of drained just know that this week you're gonna get that forward motion and it's going to be really, really positive for you. You also can expect a potential financial boost this week after Wednesday. So keep your eyes and ears open for new opportunities and just know that you guys have better days ahead. The change, the shift starts this week for you with your planet going forward. So congratulations and good job. I'm sure you guys have learned a lot during Pluto retrograde and I know that you're probably really ready for this uh, new chapter. So embrace it and enjoy. And your season's coming up soon too. So get ready, that's gonna be amazing. All right, Sagittarius. So for you guys, it's friends, groups, future plans. So you guys have been focusing on this, this, this retrograde energy about the friends that you hang out with, the groups that you associate yourself with, who have you been spending time with? What have you been up to? All of this has been kind of on your mind lately. You may have been reconnecting with old friends or old groups that you used to be associated with and just know that if you've been inspired to do that, it is a very positive thing at this time. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing and then on Wednesday, you're going to receive opportunities for some new, again, finances. A lot of people are getting positive financial news this week, which I love that. I think that's really great. Who doesn't want that? But for you guys, um, a new financial chapter could be starting. There may also be some restructuring in your life in different areas, like as far as who you spend time with, the partnerships that you are focusing on and where you're putting your energy. So I would say follow your heart, go with your gut, trust yourself, Sagittarius. You have a really great instinct when it comes to people and groups. That's really kind of like your 
an area where you thrive. You're very social. So just know that whatever comes to you this week, um, it's going to be for your highest good. So just handle it from the heart authentically and you're going to really enjoy it. These new structures are coming in to give you a boost. So don't be afraid to start anything new. Even though there's a retrograde, I would say just go slowly and watch things uh, continue to come together. And then I think October 18th, you'll start to see some of the payoff. But that's a pretty quick turnaround if you ask me. Okay, so Capricorn. Capricorn Pluto goes direct in your sign. So just like how Scorpio had you know, Pluto retrograde, which is the ruling planet, it was retrograde in your sign. So you've been affected too. So Pluto is going to be going direct this week. Thank goodness. I bet you are so happy. <laughs> and then there's a new moon in your career house on Wednesday. So good, you guys. So that means that your reputation is going to be getting a boost. I think that actually Capricorns have an amazing reputation, but I think that your reputation and news and like word of your reputation and how hard you work is going to finally fall on the right ears. Like the VIPs are finally going to hear about you or you're finally going to get recognized and noticed for the hard work that you put in. And it's going to make you feel really good. It's also going to give you a boost as far, again, your finances. A lot of people are getting that financial boost this week. So Capricorn, you can expect a financial boost. You can expect to feel more grounded this week as Pluto goes direct. <laughs> so you've probably been dealing with some heavy feelings, heavy emotions. Whenever Pluto is retrograde in your sign, it's Pluto's just a heavy planet. There's a lot of transformation. It's a lot of uh, deep, you know, upheaval. Probably things have just been, you know, on your mind a lot. Now with this forward motion, you guys are going to feel grounded. You're going to feel seen. You're going to feel supported and you're going to be able to move forward and seize these new opportunities that are going to be coming into your career house on Wednesday. So congrats and enjoy. Aquarius, you guys can expect news around an old opportunity that's going to be coming back around, which is not unheard of for a retrograde. If it happens during a retrograde, I say embrace it, but go slow because there's a reason that things come back again for a second or a third time. A lot of the time we haven't learned the lesson yet, or we haven't really brought the idea or the opportunity to full fruition. So I say embrace it, see what happens. Um, if it's something that you want to do, if it's something that you want to explore that you never fully got to, you know, take to the next level or take all the way, then I say do it. Enjoy. See what comes up for you. This is also going to be a week when you get a boost to your foreign affairs. So if there's anything overseas, anybody that you've been communicating with overseas for business or friendships overseas, anything having to do with foreign relations for you guys is going to be getting a boost. So that's always fun. That's great news. And then um, you're going to be entering a more social period this week. So if you've been kind of holding yourself away, you know, thinking, working on a new project, uh, whatever it is for you, Aquarius, you guys always have your own thing going on. Just know that this week after Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you guys are going to start to get into that more social phase where you're going to want to get out there talk to more people, share your ideas more. And I think that that's going to be really fun. That's going to be great. Okay. Pisces, last but not least, you guys have your house of shared resources highlighted. So there could be things coming up for you guys, like a commission or one-time payout, which I think is amazing. You could also, if you're married, your spouse could get a raise or money could come to you through your spouse or an inheritance of some sort. So Inheritance money, it's like any, not necessarily someone passing away, but it could be like um, something, anything that we don't work for ourselves that is just given to us, like it could be a gift or it could be, you know, money that comes to you indirectly through a spouse or another family member, but you guys may be getting some sort of surprise that's positive in that area, which I think is great. Also, uh, you could get other new sources of income. So these new sources of income would come from groups that you're a part of or other associates, relationships that you have been investing in. Um, you could see some new opportunities come to you through these groups. So you could get a recommendation for a job. You could be, you know, nominated for something. There could be a side hustle that, you know, kind of falls in your lap this week, something that gets you, you know, more income, more good vibes, more of what you guys have been looking for. You can start to see that happen and come your way this week. And then when October 18th gets here and Mercury goes retrograde, 
a lot of that stuff is going to really take root and you guys can probably expect some windfalls or other really great turn of events, um, things that are coming to you through, like I said, groups, friends, or a significant other or an inheritance of some sort, which that sounds great. So enjoy if you want to buy me a present. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, I hope that you all have an amazing week. I hope that you like this weekly horoscope. If you want more horoscopes, let me know by commenting below. I can do more of these. I just thought it would be fun to throw it out. I'm in New York. I'm feeling a good vibe. So I thought that you guys needed to know all of this info. All right. There's more in the description box like some information about how to use my discount code to get some Ana Luisa Joy for 10% off. I've paired my Ana Luisa chain with a Chanel choker. I am obsessed with layering necklaces for fall and Ana Luisa has some great pieces that are high quality and sustainable starting at $39. So I had to share with you guys and they're a supporter of my podcast. So of course that means a lot to me. And if you guys buy from them, you support an awesome brand that's sustainable and you support me and I love it. So I, and you support yourself by getting yourself some cute stuff. All right, you guys, I love you so much, and I will talk to you soon.